and as you're traveling through that portal that you're coming to a very very special meeting today with the beings that sit on a council and they call it a meeting place of infinite possibilities tell me as you look around what is being discussed today you are correct there are all the beings from many different star systems and I'm looking down and I have no body I am transparent and I look at them and they are smiling and they are applauding and they're saying the time of change is now and they're saying it's very important that we come together there is so much change that is happening for humanity at this moment in time and there are many different star beings here today Jill Lemurians, Arcturians, Palladians, Syrians and they're showing me Orion's belt and they're showing me the Star of David and they're showing me the Merkabahs millions and millions and millions of Merkabahs millions and millions, trillions and now they're showing me atoms and molecules yet when we look into the atom it's almost they want to give me a magnifying glass and they're saying when we stretch out the magnifying glass or bring it in when we are observing and they are observing us so much has been magnified for us and it's intense they again are bringing atoms and molecules and they're saying and what I'm seeing is trillions and trillions and trillions of tiny tiny almost like dust Jill like sand from the beach you know sometimes or even they're saying more dust you know we only if we wipe our hands like this and then we see we might we might wipe a shelf and then we see the dust but we do this and then the dust is gone yet it's still there could you just back that up please I heard um, trillions and trillions of dust and then you just froze sorry about that okay so they're saying when so they're showing me all the atoms and molecules and they're saying when you take your finger and you wipe a shelf and there's dust and we, we do this with our fingers and the dust falls we might wipe it on ourselves or wipe it and we think the dust is gone but the dust is a part of what life is about and they're saying that these particles are the trillions and trillions of Merkabahs and again they say in the time of change is now they're saying remember in spirit in flow the universe source has no time we are all sensing the upgrades many of us are moving through these upgrades many of us are getting sore throats becoming sickly many of the children are feeling and they're saying the energy feels erratic hence even in this session you may have to stop me and re-ask hence there was a disconnect between you and I in the beginning I shared with you 
I felt a little bit funny. And they're saying, this is how we're all going to feel. There's going to be friction, Jill. Lots of friction. And they're saying, they want us to think of the friction as only rubbing our hands together or taking the dust or seeing dust on a shelf, wiping it, and then doing this. So the friction, what they mean is, <sighs> there's friction coming in human beings. Where is it coming from? China, America, Russia. America, Russia, China. China, America, Russia. Russia, America, China. And they're showing me parts of Australia too. And it's interesting, they showing me Africa. And if we were to look at a, a map of the world, it's interesting how those three massive countries stand out. And they've got no color, but they're outlined. And Africa normally, if you're looking at a flat map of the world, sort of stands out. Yet it's, it's not standing out. It's, 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 they show me again the magnifying glass. So I've got to take the magnifying glass to really look for Africa. Because it's, it's almost as if it's been held, captivated. Captive, sorry. Captive, not captivated. Captive. And been held to ransom by these three. And they're showing me, again, a flat map of the world. So let's say we have a map here, Jill, mm -hmm. and you've got Amer America, Russia, China, and then Africa's down here. At, uh, I'm hoping I'm getting it correct. <laughs> yes, okay. But the, with my drawing, but here, here, and here. Do you see how these three countries are coming to here? Yes. In Africa, does Thank that make you. sense? Okay. Yes. Coming down. And they're saying that these are the these are the energetic connections and binding and hold that these countries have on Africa. And they're saying that this is hence where the statement held to ransom as they've just been Africans have been giving and giving and giving and giving. The governments have been giving and giving, thinking that they are doing good for their countries, yet they've been held to ransom, Joel. Okay. So how do we change that? The change is coming. Yeah. We are a part of the collective of this change that is coming in October. And oh, they're giving yeah. us the date, even though they talk about the now, they're giving us the date, hence the opening of the light, yet it has already been felt, hence this frictionated, erratic energy of this portal that we term it the Lion's Gate portal. And there are many, many, many people who are journeying with us on this journey. They want us to know this. That many people that are, again, dust particles, no one is unimportant. Dust has its purpose, does it not? Mm -hmm. So they're saying that, again, the particles is where we are all connecting into this vibration, into this opening of not only the Lion's Gate portal, but for what is to come for us in our timeline. And we have already been feeling it. Mm -hmm. And they're showing me the spiral of golden light. Yes, you've mentioned that before, that spiral. Mm hmm And now it's not one spiral. Again, they've taken the, the uh, magnifying glass. And as I stand back, and I've got the magnifying glass, and I'm, and they're saying again, energetically, 
the magnetism of what has been created is for us to wake up. And many are waking up. Yet once again, these spirals, there are trillions and trillions and trillions of light beings. And these light beings are where so many people, so many humans have decided to take back their power. How does somebody do that? How does a human do that? By not getting angry mm. first. They say this is very important. So there is a, upon this council, there is a one beautiful angelic being who shimmers, Jill, between white, transparent, golden, blue, white, transparent, golden, blue. And it's, it's not a he and she, it's a, it's a, it's a being. They just want us to know it, 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 it's not a, it doesn't have a sex. And this being is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ray of light, massive, 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 massive. And this being's looking at all the council all of the beings on the council. And please ask the question again. How do oh, how do humans take back their power? Okay. Correct. Thanks. So as this being is looking at the council and looking at now what this what they're showing me is you have and they they're gonna give it to us as we would understand it in human terms. A state, a head of state. So let's say they have a Lemurian who has, is a head of state or a head of the country. And then there are millions of Lemurians. And then they have the next one, Octarian, and then there are millions. And they're just lining up, Jill. They're just showing me all these bright, 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 beautiful lights. You know, like when you look at lanterns and lanterns are all attached together like that. All these golden, golden lights. And they're saying that as we are all diving deep into our transition of our soul's journeys, we are remembering what our souls came here for. We are remembering why this time of change is so needed. And they're saying they'll come back to how we take back our power they're saying, but anger is not the way. It's never, ever, ever worked for anybody, has it? No. They're saying that the more compassionate we are, the more loving we are within our homes, our suburbs, our counties, our states, our countries, our continents, the more these spirals will speed up, these spirals of light. And they're saying, once again, we are coming to realize that anger does not serve us. Fear is like the dust particles. They yes, want us to know that. Day. Yes. <laughs> yes. And complaining about these humans that we have given the power to does not help either. Mm, and complaining about the past, and they're showing me the jabs, the jabs, the jabs, the jabs. They're saying that many humans already know deep within their wisdom the truth. And many humans are refinding their voices by saying, no, thank you. We do not want to work for these massive corporations. We would rather work from home. No, thank you. 
we would rather work four days a week and give you all of our time and effort and then have a perhaps a two-day or three-day weekend. And they're saying, have you noticed how so many more humans have become entrepreneurs? Yes. They're saying that they applaud us. They applaud us for taking back our power. So they're giving us ways of noticing how there's so much magnetic vibrational shifts that are happening energetically for Earth. Yet there is a ripple effect that takes place with regards to this. And this is where the dense places, the place where there holds dense vibration in humans is where many are leaving. Many are not able to handle the intensity of the vibration of being human. And they said this is no recent news, as we are well aware of this. This has been shared many times. And many of us are perhaps even feeling heavy right now because we are questioning our relationships. We are questioning ourselves, what is it that we want? We are questioning how does our new, and they're saying this is important, how does our new non-robotic self look like, feel like, provide what are we providing? How are we being of service? This has been shared by Edgar Casey, Dolores Cannon, Wayne Dyer, Louise Hay. They're giving me Sheila Gillette who is still alive. Esther Hicks. Stephen Covey. There are many, ah, the Tao, the Tao has been written to share how do we be of service to one another, how do we show up for one another, how do we care about one another even more. Many of us are feeling as if we are being squeezed and they're saying, do you remember how they spoke about the vortexes, Jill? Yes. And the vortexes feel as if we are being squeezed as we may be on a certain timeline and there will be a lot of erraticness, a lot of people in fear, a lot of strokes, a lot of heart attacks, a lot of aneurysms, a lot of defragmented souls, schizophrenia, psychic attacks. And they're saying almost think of it like a zombie ac apocalypse where many humans will choose to stay in their own space of disempowered yet many humans are rising up and they applaud us once again they are rising up rising up we are rising up to say we take this back. We are strong. We take this back. And they're saying what they mean by this is our world, our lives. They're saying again, it's important to share with us. And they're saying thank you for bringing the councils together. Everyone is a team player. They're all wanting the same thing. And they're saying, Jill, there are many Andromedans around too for you. This is important to share. And they're saying many of us are having frenetic thoughts or frantic thoughts. 
what is ours, we, we sort of becoming impulsive. Have you felt that in the last few days? Yes, actually, specifically Me too. today, which was quite interesting. Yes, very impulsive and doing things, not thinking things through. What do we do? How do we do? And this is the change of the squeezing of the vortex hmm. or vortexes that we are in. And they're saying that this is <laughs> not rocket science. Yet it is for many humans to learn to be before there's a reaction, to learn to be before there's a response, to learn to be and to sit with the... Th mm, interesting, they just showed me a picture of Jesus with the thorns embedded in his skull, in his head. And they're saying that's how it feels prickly at this moment prickly lots and lots and lots and lots of these scattered thoughts and they're saying this is how quick it's happening at the speed of light so we have to learn when we want to create something when we want to do something we have to learn to just sit in it have the thought and just sit, give it two to three days and let it sit with us. And <laughs> they're laughing at you and I because we are the worst. <laughs> no, we don't sit with those thoughts. We can say, right. <laughs> and Some of them are holding their bellies and <laughs> having, having a real chuckle at ourselves and they're saying hence we are such doers and this is why we are a wonderful team and they're saying they have great things planned for us Julie they said it is it's a real woohoo riding the steam train Maybe that's why they are the Council of the Infinite Correct, 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 correct. And they're saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. As they are infinite. It does not matter whether you're connected to the Galactic Federation of Light, I'm connected to the Council of Eight, others are connected to different archangels, ascended masters, dragons, elementals. And they're showing me those lanterns once again and all the lights. And that is the string. That is the connection. It does not matter who's going where to when. What matters is that within form is that the connection is strong. There is a bonding that is happening. Hence, we are taking back our powers. And they're showing me that many will be cut off at the knees, Jill. Many politicians. They will go into hiding. Many of these, and they are aware of protecting us, so they're not going to be mentioning names today. Yet they are very aware of those that have been brought or highlighted as to what has happened. They're saying the different companies that you and I are well aware of. You're getting the thoughts right now and the names of them right now. And again, they're saying this is about protecting the information that is coming directly through, but protecting us too. They're saying that we, we must not worry as human beings at these humans that have been encrypted with DNA that has been tainted, it kind of leaves a bad taste in our mouths. And they're bringing the jabs again into this process and they're saying that it's important that humans like ourselves help human beings remember their light, that they can work through 
the denseness of who was jabbed when. And they're saying, does this make sense, Jill? Yes, and it's quite interesting that you say that because just this morning I was um, chatting to a friend of mine in England who has been using a protocol to help those who have had that experiment and helping them to get rid of that out of their system. And she said it's absolutely been fascinating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that that's, it's as simple as reigniting a crystal. And they bring into my mind, remember that time that you sent myself and Mary and I think Tony too, that do you remember you had a crystal on your desk, Jill, and it was, it was activated? Do you remember that video you sent us? No. We could perhaps share it. But you took a video of it and it was just moving and you said, this is crazy. I haven't touched it. It was just being activated. Wow, do you know that? I can't even remember that at all. They're saying that's okay. <laughs> they're laughing right now as they say. <laughs> they're saying this is impossible, Jill. This you remember everything. <laughs> and they they're saying that this is what's interesting is that in the becoming of human as you have it's they're showing me how you you have dropped into your human body which has felt incredible for you they're showing me how you were in crystalline form Whew. You. <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> showing that you are one of many myself included and this is where we're going back into that diamond grid and they're saying that it's as simple as holding a crystal but how they show me how you you specifically but how many millions star seeds have come from that that's they're saying they want to keep it simple and they want to help people understand but you know in the center of the earth is a there's a there's a there's a crystalline grid and but at the same time it's like you've dropped you know you've dropped into your humanness and hence they show me how you have managed to retain information because of this form of where you've come from and there are many people like yourself and they're saying that I mustn't worry because a big part of what I'm remembering <laughs> is I too come from that source energy <laughs> because I've been questioning the last few days how come I don't remember things. And they said, but it's like, we've, we've kind of flipped roles in the sense of, but not, they're saying, they, they're trying to articulate this and show me, but how you kind of dropped from your dimension and came into your human body. And with my human body, in my human experience and they're saying not to take away from your human experience but my human experience was just chaotic for such a long time and now I'm upgrading whereas you came in upgrade and they're saying does this make sense yes and then dropped into chaos <laughs> <laughs> Well, they said you forgot how to be human in your Andro Andromedan state and way of being. You, you scanned. 
you scanned. And they're saying what they mean by that is you were so out there and this is and they're saying this is very important that even though they and they're thanking you and they're thanking me for making it about us because <coughs> you are so uh what's the word they're giving me heightened you live in a state of heightened uh, you you are you are continuously uh, in a magnetic field of abundance, and but there was no relate re relating to being human. They are saying, does this make sense? Yes. Like you knew it, but you didn't know it. So it's kind of like you just push things aside and you kept going, and you push things aside and you kept going. You push things. You're like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no time, no time. And they're saying this is how they're explaining this because there's so many humans that are coming into this world today, children, teenagers, adults like you and me, who have felt the same but felt so incredibly alone. So there are so many more people and they're saying you too have felt this where you have felt incredibly alone and like almost disconnected from being human. And they're saying this is where they had formulated a long, 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 long time ago where you and I would connect and ignite with one another. And my humanness and the way that I've worked is where we sort of disconnected at first because you were out there and I was here and now we've met and we've now clicked and we are now strong. And they're saying, and this is where we get, this is where our work is so important because we're now starting to vibrate like this with each other. And, and you know, Jill, if you take two spirals and you interconnect the spirals, they fit, don't they? They may seem like they don't fit, but they start to fit. They just start to fit intertwined into each other. And you know, at markets, they're showing me, have you seen those colored balls that are in a spiral that you hang from the ceiling? And they're almost like trick of the eye. Like you look at them and they look like they're going up and then they look like they're coming down. They're saying that this is how, and they, even though they're using us as a, an example today, how many, so many humans are feeling alone and lonely because they've either been out there and not connected into their humanness or so in their humanness and in the chaoticness of their trauma and their um, fight or flight responses that they now are working so hard to find the balance. And they're saying not one is better than the other. They're very clear about this. Not one is better than the other. Correct. And they're saying hence there are so many Asperger's, autistic, um, uh, what's the other, ADHD, ADD, um, and they're giving me the words uh, disconnectedness, so much disconnectedness. Yet it's time that parents started showing up for their children as children are quick and fast. And they're saying that this is where the resonance is starting to happen. They're saying, look at my hands. It's like there's such an imbalance between the old school, the old way, the old way of being, the old way of thinking. And these, so these are the adults of the old and these are the youngsters of the new. And there's a non-alignment that happens. So what happens is these old parents that have old ways of thinking and aren't wanting to... So you actually went out and froze again. So there's a non-alignment, yes. There's a non-alignment between, thank you for that, the, the parents mm -hmm. and the children that are coming into the world. Yet these children are such massive teachers to help these parents mm -hmm. refine themselves. They say, does that make sense? Yes. 
so the children are coming to teach the parents how to find their balance again yes and these are the spirals that are either not that are they feel like they're mismatching mm -hmm. or they are spiraling together because the the children are forcing the parents to do the work or not it's easy to be in denial it's easy to feel numb it's easy to be addicted to the pain of the suffering or the suppressed pain or the suppressed suffering so either these parents are making and blaming the children and they're saying they bring an example of you and I once again like I didn't understand you you didn't understand me in the beginning and now there's such compassion and wholeness between us and they're saying that this is where there is either and this is the choice for each human to decide that they are powerful yet in their power and when one is in their power there is no struggle nothing one is in complete acceptance of what is and that is when we are in source that is when we are God that is when there is no ego yes. and you know that's when I just had the most beautiful example I don't know if I, I think I've told you this before is when I had that basically near head-on collision last Saturday and this lady who obviously is a tourist in the country in a rental car came hurtling towards me and on a one-way bridge and I had the right of way and I was already three quarters of the way across and she still was coming full tilt like a hundred kilometers an hour towards me and I, I almost was bracing myself for the impact and I let go of the steering wheel and I put my hands up and I just went stop 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 almost like being superman and, and pushing the car back and her eyes went enormous and how she stopped i have no idea but it was like one bed's length between us and the normal reaction would have been anger and because i was fearful and that panic and i would have screamed and shouted and called her all names under the sun instead i had this calmness come over me Correct. and I gave her the thumbs up and a big smile as if to say well done wow you stopped the car good job and then she wasn't expecting that and you could see the way she was holding her body she was waiting for an onslaught and when she didn't get it mm. she was like that that was her trauma building mm. and then you could see her visibly sort of shake herself and relax as if to say, wow, I'm not being attacked. Mm. And then I showed her, I said, just reverse, reverse. She was still so discombobulated, she reversed into my lane. And I just waited. I gave her time. Mm. And then I went past her gently, gave her the thumbs up and a big smile to, and said to her, you know, great, wonderful, how wonderful that we didn't smash into each other. And then I went to the lake and I took the dog for a walk. And that's when I gave thanks. I looked at the mountain, I looked at the mm. lake, and I thought I could have been waiting for an ambulance right then. Mm. Or I could have been dead, severely injured. But there I was. And because I did that for her, it made me feel so good. It made me feel calm. My system wasn't on edge. So is that what you're talking about, taking your power back, being aware? That's one part of it. And there's clarity. There's, they're saying, you know how we've been force fed so much with marketing? Mm -hmm. And they're saying, listen to how they're saying this, force fed. They're saying they're very well aware that the way humans do things has created a huge amount of suffering for animals. They are well aware of this. Yet this is part of where we decide to take back our power and farm the way that we used to farm, where there was always enough for everyone. But we, as humans, 
have decided that we want quicker, faster, better. And this is where in the food chain specifically, so much is tainted. And so much is force fed onto us through marketing. And they're saying it's also important though to know that everything is energy, Jill. Every soul has chosen the journey, animals included, humans included. And they're saying that there is such despair at times. And they're saying, listen to these words, at times. Yet you could have screamed at that woman, shouted at her, raged at her, got out the car, and created your system to unravel as much as her system. Yes. But they're saying, there's a saying we have, taken it in your stride. You took it in your stride. It's not to say that you weren't rattled, but in the energy of the clarity, there was a big pause, a big breath that happened. And in the pause, in the breath, this is where, as opposed to us reacting and being angry whenever, when we take the time to pause and breathe and not look at life as being in suffering, is where we start to take back our power. Okay. Where we start to not buy into what we are told and force fed. Okay, so take the time to think about what it is we really and truly want and what's important. Yes. And, not and what, so. yes, and listen to this vibration, listen to this body, listen mm -hmm. to what feels good for it. We are force fed so much information. Eat this, don't eat that, do that, don't eat that, don't, 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 dot, 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 dot. And eventually, it's almost as if they're saying we wither away. We wither into ourselves. We become so invisible like Africa. And this is not who we are as human beings. They're saying there's such disparity. Yet there's a drive by many of us as light workers, star seeds. And they show me the connection of the lanterns once again. To know that we have the power deep within our wisdom of our souls. And when we choose, they're saying, listen to the words, choose to meet each other with arms open wide and be of service. There are some great shake-ups coming, Jill. Awesome. And do you know what I loved? I saw this on Facebook the other day. It says, stop asking if you're on the right path. Instead, ask yourself, am I happy? Correct. It will tell you if on the right path or not. Yes. Those answers are always within you. You feel it. Yes. And this is where they're saying it, the pendulum is swinging. And they're saying it's interesting because I've had a few conversations myself in the last few days about how we are all spiritual. But how do we become more human? How do we master ourselves as human beings? Earth masters. Correct. <laughs> and they're saying, wonderful name. And it is about mastering humans. It is about mastering how we are to be. As we are all light, we are all spirit, we are all vessels of light. Yet we have forgotten, and this is where... Everything in the last, and they're saying time-wise, human-wise, in the last three years, there's been such an upward swing to how we've got to push ourselves, pressurize ourselves, got to be more spiritual. Got to, and they're saying this is just so funny, is that 
the powers that be, them, the collective, know that we're all spirit. <laughs> So basically, you've come to Master Earth, Earth being the master class. You're really yes. spirit, so you can't say, oh, I need to be more spiritual. No, yes. now it's time to be more human. Yes. To be the best human you can be. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. Now, and they're Michelle, saying that's what's so easy. It's Michelle, easy, Julie. It's okay. easy. So Michelle's got a um, client that she has to see, so we're going to have a short session now so thank you for that what is your very last message for the listeners today and for Michelle and I be in and they're saying applause is when we clap for one another we clap when people on stage and they're going to give us a different way of a different word be in a Pause. Pause in the moment. Breathe. Breathe in the moment. Nature pauses. And they're giving me the understanding of, or the visual of, a lion, it comes up to its prey. It stalks its prey, but it's in a pause before it prances. And they say, you and I will understand this, being South African, we've seen this, or we've watched it. Yet, they are referring to this lion's portal. Be in a pause. Take time to pause. What is it I want moving forward? What am I intending for my future? And they're saying the future's right here, Jilly. Right here, right now. It's not out there. It's here. And they're giving me the magnifying glass again. Are we pausing or are we pausing out there? Yep. So we've got to come up, bring it in close and personal, set our intentions. And I've just heard them calling it a portal of prayer. So Beautiful. A holy communion within yourself, setting your intentions for this new energy. Yes. And they're asking us to please do our platform party. Yes, you and I really, you, for two people who are such doers, <laughs> we haven't really <laughs> attended to that at all. Thanks for the reminder, guys. <laughs> yes. They say, so, a uh, pause, a uh, pause, a uh, pause. And in that, the power of prayer is in the pause. Awesome. And they're thanking you. Coming. Thanks for coming through today, guys, and thank you for letting me um, know that I've got to steer Michelle through that portal into that Council of Infinite Possibilities. That was awesome. We thank you, Jill, and we thank Michelle for taking the time to pause. Awesome. So, Michelle, you know the drill? One, coming back. Two, feeling... Marvellous. And three. Welcome back. Welcome back. Gosh. So we don't have time for a big chat because um, you've got to. Oh, that's okay. We've got we've got five to ten minutes. Um, okay, I just want you to be able to have at least... A little yeah. Pause you yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, that was beautiful, hey? Wow. You, you saw yourself. Sure. Hey, isn't it absolutely so emotional mm. when they show you that, hey? It's so beautiful and it makes such sense, you know. There's that statement um, when two worlds collide. <clears throat> And that's what it felt like when you and I first met. Fuck. <laughs> and I'm sure. Isn't it great that we um, persevered? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you were just talking about the heart, the heart, the heart. And I'm going, yeah, what about that? Why is that? We've got a heart. Come on. <laughs> Oh gosh, and it is, it's just, 
I always, I always talk about how, um, you know, when we met, and I'll never forget, we're driving on the back road of Wanaka. I don't know where you were driving me to. And you were talking about that time about the oil. Do you remember that example about the oil that, that something something had spilled or something like that and how you had collect? Oh, yeah, 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 in the Gulf of Mexico. Yes. And I remember really thinking, deep. yes, and I remember thinking, I don't know what she fucking means. I have no fucking idea what she means. <laughs> like, I'm like, I just remember thinking. Oh, yeah, with the nutter. <laughs> no, I was like, yo. This is a weird story, man. Like, woof. Like, I kind of I checked my eyes. I was like, okay, I'm in the car with her right now. I ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> hey, and look at us now going to Egypt. I mean. Oh, man. <coughs> and so. we were saying this the other day. We were saying how, look, look at where two years uh, two years is such a short space in time. It really is. It feels intense and it feels hard in those moments, you know, of where you just think to yourself, gosh, like we've come so far and in the biggest scheme of things. And that's the beauty of how the universe is always collaborating for us when we just yes, get out of our own back. way. And yeah. You might think, oh my God, she's she's weird, and she's telling me the story. How is this even possible? Yeah. And now you're going to be in a car traveling with somebody else at some stage, telling them an equally weird story. Yeah. And they're going to be rolling their eyes, going, oh, what's this chick about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But but in in all fairness, guys, when Jill met me, um, I was still working through a huge amount of my grieving and a huge amount of being in this country and landing into you know my expectation i was speaking about this the other day in my community gathering expectations how i expected you being an ex-south african or south african to understand how it feels to be south african to understand my journey but you couldn't have because you've been here in this country for 35 years and you didn't have the same yes we both had apartheid experiences but we didn't have the same experience you know i had have been involved in you know hijackings and um uh, armed robberies and and that had happened to you i mean there's that ex there is that experience of when you went back um but it's kind of like we it's i just terrifying. expected it's it was terrifying yeah and you, and you know michelle when it happened to me um and it's happened to so many people right i'm no, nobody special but I remember my actual physical heart felt as if it was about a foot in front of me. Oh, it's awful. You know they say when your heart jumps out of your chest? Yeah. It actually does. It's yeah. unbelievable what yeah. fear does, eh? You better oh, go. Man. No, um, yeah, it's okay. So, um, but yeah, it's just, we'll, we'll get onto another subject, but um, at another time, but because I'm not wanting to end off on that, you know, because there is absolutely that. Um, that ha that happens in, in South Africa. But it's beautiful how the universe knows for us, our teams know for us, in terms of you and I, but for everybody. And what I want to say to anybody is that if you are going through a hard time, just reach out, you know, um, to somebody. We are not alone in this because I know in these last few days, a lot of us have been feeling alone. A lot of us have been questioning, are we, you know, uh, I haven't been sleeping much. I mean, check the bags out of my eyes. I know the sleep has been like deprived. So, like you know, for those of you, yeah, 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 crazy. Like, Oof. like dreams you can remember in detail. Th th that is so true. I have never remembered my dreams up until this week. And I'm like, whoo, and I woke up last night. And I'm like, I've got, I need to clear this. And it was, wasn't the, the nicest dream to have, but you're so right. So for those of you who are into astrology and into other stuff, like just let us know what's going on because we don't freaking know everything. You know, I don't know if you know what's going on ast astrologically. <laughs> uh, like the lion's portal. Okay. And then it's like, okay, I feel the lion's portal. What the hell is the lion's portal? <laughs> what happened um yesterday last night i was invited to the bowls you know crystal bowl session mm -hmm. and i went there and it was just like so full the room was full and um we set a heart intention and let the ripples go and the next minute i saw the people in the room um all these spaceships landing mm -hmm. and they were being beamed up and some of them in like 
threes and twos and five of them and seven of them and they were being sent all over the world into all the different countries and the spaceships were above that and <clears throat> they they hot the the color that was coming the hue from them <clears throat> so it was like the spaceship sucked up like five people who, who were all vibrating blue wow. and those were vibrating <clears throat> green and purple and so they were going up like this hovering above the countries for the lion's portal which was here yesterday yeah and their heart the 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 love that they were connecting was going feeding into those countries oh how beautiful that we actually today because then you, when you share this because it will still be the eighth in the rest of the world yeah, that's beautiful but, but you know what those people in that room didn't even know they were connected wow and they were soul families beautiful and, and these people are here for ski holidays and working in hospitality they from all over the world these young people beautiful and yet they were called on that one night to do bowls they might yeah. never see each other again yeah and yet they're Incredible. actually part of, a, of, of the right same bandwidth and soul family yeah it was fascinating. wow that's awesome hey so gorgeous awesome. energy Okay, so now we have to commit to doing our platform party and um, we'll put a video out there. We can look at our dates and that. And um, so we'll come back to you guys because I do need to We've go. We've said that about um, four times, you know that. What? We'll I need to go. To them <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we clearly are on our own platform party at the moment. But in all fairness, guys, we have been exceptionally busy with organizing Egypt. And, um, and that was just crazy and Hawaii. And um, so now we've got a little bit more time. in Hawaii in February next year, hey, from the yes. 6th until the 7th. Yes, yeah, that'll be awesome. So Egypt is planned, but now we can, Julie. We will commit to you guys to actually, um, after my session today, I'll come back to you and, um, okay, and then we'll we can do organize it. a time. So look at a few dates, yeah, and then we'll okay, put wonderful. out a message. Okay. You're okay, really going to be late now. Yeah, I'm going to. Go. Okay, Thanks, bye, guys. Love you. Thank you, love you, Julie. See you. Bye, Julie. Bye. Bye.